guys and welcome to the Eveno's office. So in today's video it's gonna be a little bit of a different one because I'm actually gonna jump into another video in a second that I created for my art printables on Etsy students. Art printables on Etsy is actually a course that I've created. It's helped hundreds of people get started with building their own art printable business and to learn how to create it, put everything together, learn about their target audience, create the actual art printables themselves, learn how to sell and drive in traffic and all all of those wonderful things but I wanted to share with you today a video that I feature inside of there which I think could be really helpful for anyone who's just thinking about creating an art printable business themselves just to learn how to add multiple files into a single listing when you're creating something for example like an art printable listing or this could be a listing for a number of graphics and you want to create a whole bundle of graphics that you want to add into a listing or for example if you have a printable planner shop on Etsy and you you want to create multiple planner pages and offer them as a bundle in a single listing then I wanted to show you how you can add more than the five spaces that you have in an Etsy listing when you're creating a digital product so usually you have up to five um, file spaces that you can add and they're also limited in the size that you can actually offer but sometimes we want to offer really really big bundles full of loads of really helpful stuff we just want to offer them in a single listing so this video that I'm going to jump into now shows you exactly Exactly how to do that it's super easy but it's something that I think you know quite a few people when they're starting out don't know how to do it's just one of the videos inside of my art printables on Etsy course which teaches you exactly step by step how to put together an art printable business shows you all of the little nooks and crooks and all the things that really go into making a successful art printable business that actually sells because I think honestly this could be quite helpful for people and whether you're just getting started or whether you already have an Etsy shop and you want to learn how to just add bundles and bigger listings if you're thinking about creating your own art Art printable Etsy shop this year or if you've already created one but you're just struggling to make any sales at all I super recommend obviously because it's mine but because I love it and I know how helpful it is and um, heading into the description box below and I have the link to the waiting list for the art printables on Etsy course which is coming out hopefully next month by the time you're watching this but it depends on when you're watching it but if you just check underneath in the description box you'll be able to grab the link to the waiting list or if it's already open I'll switch it over to the open link and um, but if you do decide to join the waiting list now you get an additional discount when those doors do open so it's like I always think it's so worth joining the waiting list when the doors open you get it in an even bigger discount than when it's going to come out again so I just want to let you know that the link will be in the description box below for the art principles and Etsy course and also just before I hop over to the video that's featured inside of the course I just wanted to let you know because um, obviously you can't see the actual lessons that go on inside of the course so you're not able to follow along just to finish off what I talk about in that video I just wanted to show you that once you have created the link that I show you how to create in that video then one of the easiest ways for you to then turn that into a PDF that you can just add into for example one of these spaces is to just use a platform like Canva and you can literally just create a PDF instructions or a download instructions page that you can just add the link that I'm going to show you how to create to so when someone purchases your listing they're then able to just download this PDF click on your link and that will give them access to all of the files that you wanted to include in that bundle or that offering that you have in listing. So I'm gonna jump over to the video now where I show you how to create that big file, where to host it, and also how to get that share link. So I hope that this video really helps and definitely don't forget to check out the description box below for that link to the Art Principles and Etsy course waiting list to grab that extra discount for when it opens. And also if you do enjoy these videos and you like learning from me about how to create digital product businesses, definitely Definitely consider subscribing to the channel and also obviously liking this video but I hope you enjoyed this video guys I'm gonna jump over to it now bye hi guys so I really quickly wanted to show you this has basically been a request inside of the Facebook community and I wanted to do an updated video really quickly to show you how if you are you know creating art printables and you want to create more than what you can fit into Etsy or you know size wise something that you know it's a fairly large bundle of art printables and um, but you can't obviously fit them on the Etsy platform that a great alternative to that is to use a cloud service and I just wanted to show you how for example I would use Google Drive to gather those printables together and then basically create a link that I can then and include inside of a PDF or something like that that you can add into that listing. So when someone purchases your product, it will share with them the PDF and inside the PDF they can have to click a ball link 
And then when they click on that link, then they get access to just that section inside of your Google Drive that has those files available so that they can download those whenever they want. They don't have any more access into your Google Drive. You could do this with, do this with Dropbox or whatever you feel comfortable with, but I really just want to show you how simple it is so it doesn't overwhelm you. So here, for example, I have just taken, I quickly downloaded a whole bunch of different kind of um, art printables. And all I've done is I've just popped them into a file. I've, it says keep both just because I have um, multiples in here. But I've just kind of grabbed a whole selection of art printables. For example, if this was actually a collection that I wanted to sell as a bundle um, on a listing on Etsy. So I've put them inside of a folder on my um, computer. And then all I did is I signed into my Google Drive. Now Google Drive is, you can have a free option. It only has a limited amount of storage. So obviously it would depend on how many art printables you want to store on Google Drive or how many things you want to store but I actually have the paid version because I use them for so many different digital products and for sharing things and stuff like that but you could there is a free version I think there's a free version of Dropbox as well but so for example whichever one you feel more comfortable with but what I would do is I would just take that file and I would really simply drag it and drop it into my Google Drive and then I would just wait for that to upload so it doesn't usually take too long but obviously the more um, art printables that you have, the more it's going to take a little bit of time. But the great thing about this is it means I could add as many as I wanted to into a folder and then I can share it on Google Drive and then just, as I said, give a link to that that people can come and access it. So once it's almost done, it just says finish uploading, then I can actually click on this file and this will show me all of the file uh, the files and the art printables included in this folder now if i want to give someone access to just this page inside of my google drive i don't want them to be able to go in and access any other thing inside of my google and um, then quite simple all i need to do is i just head up to this section i just click down and i just click get link then when I have the get link section, it will kind of ask me about my information. So I am the owner. And then I would go down to general access. Click anyone with the link. This is just how I would do it. There are other variations. So definitely pick which one is right for you. There's different share methods and groups and things like that. But this is just to keep it simple. And then you have some drop down options here. You have viewer, comment, commenter, and then an editor. Editor is when you basically give someone complete access to do whatever they want with your folder and your files and things like that. So a little bit um, much. But what I tend to like to do is do viewer if I'm trying to share a digital product through something like Google Drive. And then I will just click copy link. Then if I go over and I just use the new incognito window, and I just paste that link. So this would be the link that I would then add into a PDF. So I might use something like Bitly, which is like a link shortener and you can make a custom link. And um, there's some other ones as well that will make this link look a lot prettier and nicer and smaller so it doesn't look as long as this. But effectively, it will still link to this exact same thing. So then when I click it, so as if this is somebody completely new who's clicked that link, they will then have the option to either download all the files or they can go through individually and they can just click on those. And then in a second, they will have downloaded that file. So then they can then download it and use it just as they would if they were on um, Etsy downloading it, they have access to it as much as they want and they can do what they want with them the same as they would be able to do if, if um, Etsy sent them through the Etsy platform. So I just wanted to kind of share that with you. I know some of the other guys have asked as well, so I thought I would create it and pop it inside of the actual course itself so that you have you know, a way to do this if you want to. So I hope that that helps. Let me know if you need any more support with it. And um, also, I really hope that you're enjoying building your Etsy business, putting these things together. It's very creative and fun, but I know we all hit these hurdles at times. So I hope this video helps. If you ever get stuck with this, bye.